To make a spotted lantern fly trap, you will need the following supplies. One piece of rectangular window screen, approximately 30 inches by 23 inches. One piece of wood, approximately 11 inches by one inch by a half inch. One piece of wood, approximately 18 inches by one inch and a half inch. 32 inches of sturdy but bendable wire, which you can cut from a thin coat hanger. Two tops of plastic milk jugs, or any type of plastic jug that will make a funnel shape. In this video, we used a milk jug and the top of a plastic tea jug. One gallon Ziploc bag, weatherproof strong duct tape, a staple gun with short staples, an office stapler, a hot glue gun, one zip tie, one piece of twine, and a couple of push pins. After you gather all of your supplies, the first step is to take the two tops of your milk jugs or plastic jugs and attach them together. You will first hot glue them, and then once the glue is dry, which will only take a couple of seconds, you will use your duct tape and duct tape them together just to make sure that they are secure. The next step is to take your piece of screen and hold it landscape. Take the corners and fold them together like you're making a paper airplane. Then, using your scissors, cut a half circle shape off of the top. Then, using your hot glue gun, you will attach that piece of screen where you cut the half circle to the inside of your milk jug. Next, you will use your hot glue gun to attach the screen to the outer edge of the milk jug. This will allow the screen to stay open and not fall closed on itself. The next step is to attach the 18 inch piece of wood. Approximately halfway in the middle of the screen on the inside, place the piece of wood. Using the staple gun, staple the milk jug to that piece of wood. Then secure the screen to that piece of wood, placing staples every few inches. Then you will flip your trap over. And just like on the back, you will want to secure the two flaps of screen to the smaller piece of wood using the staple gun. Make sure that the two pieces of screen are overlapping enough so that the spotted lantern flies will not be able to escape through any holes or openings. It gets a little tricky at the top, so whether you use a big staple gun, a smaller staple gun, hot glue, or duct tape, just make sure that that top opening is closed so that nothing can escape. Next, you will place your wire at the bottom of the screen. Using the office stapler, you will want to fold up the bottom of the screen and staple it shut like you're making a seam so that the wire will stay put.
Next, you will want to take your Ziploc bag and cut off one of the corners, just big enough so that you can fit it over the top of the milk jug. Secure the Ziploc bag to the strap using the zip tie. This way you can cut the zip tie off whenever the bag is full and needs empty or replaced. Now that your trap is complete, the final step is to attach the trap to a tree. Place the piece of twine around the top of the trap where the milk jugs are, and then tie it around the tree to secure the top of the trap. Unlike in this example video, typically you want to place the circle trap about chest or shoulder height on the tree. To secure the bottom of the trap to the tree, use the push pins. Make sure that there are no gaps where the spotted lantern flies can crawl up under the back of the screen. The bottom of the screen should go all the way around the circumference of the tree. The final step is to take the ends of the wires and push them into the trunk of the tree. This way, it holds the front of the trap open, allowing the spotted lantern flies to crawl up and into the funnel and into the bag. 